Hello YouTube, this is Jack Tiger 2. I'm doing this video in response to some of the videos I've been seeing. Uh, East Coast Prepper is one of them, several others, in which people have been saying that they can't afford to be a prepper. Well, I have been a prepper for over 30 years now, long before they even had a name for that term. They used to call it survivalist before they started calling every idiot in the woods with a machine gun a survivalist. But as you can see, for a man who makes less money in a year than Romney decided to bet on this last uh, debate season, I've gotten several useful items for my uh, prepping. As you can see, this little trailer I've been approaching, it used to belong, or as a form, of a camping trailer that got crushed in a snow load when the snow fell off a of roof cost me $35 and I made $25 just recycling the material off of it. And since then I've had it for about four years, giving myself a lot of useful use out of it and making a little bit of money as I go. As you can see we have a need to replace a couple taillights here, but even the taillights, the old piece like that, can be retrofitted to use it for lighting up your uh, you hit the fan scenario when you only have a battery or two. As you can see above it, there is a slab of wood, an end cap, and a piece of pipe. For those of you who do not have a gun, those items with the two tools you see there are all you really need to make a gun. Because all a gun is is a barrel, a breech, and a stock to hold it on. As you can see over here, a camper on top of the truck cost me nothing. It was free. People gave it away on Craigslist. And I found it quite useful to have. It does keep the snow and rain off things. I've had this motorhome for a couple years now. My daughter's currently living in it. And she's and her fiance are kind of between jobs and such, so I Figured I'd let them stay for a little bit longer. This thing underneath the garbage can is a 25 gallon propane tank that I got off the Craigslist for free. As you can see it's a nice little unit and it'll last for quite a while. In the back here you will see several old barbecue units one regular and two gas fired even pieces of junk like this which you can get for free are very valuable and useful for a prepper this little item right here is a grill a little stove top you can actually disassemble this entire thing and have this available for you to hook to another propane bottle and there's your cooking for the shit hit the fan scenario there's also other pieces you can find in these areas. It's just a matter of using your imagination and uh, what you have available. This tank here eventually is going to go in the back of a pickup for myself. While this tank over here will go onto the trailer, you can see the frame of which leaning against the garage back here underneath that uh, pickup lumber rack. That frame cost me nothing to get, although it will it did cost me about 20 bucks worth of welding rods to put it all together. I've got an axle, I just don't have the extension cord for my welder to weld it up this winter, so I'm still waiting on that. But as you can see, for a man who's earned less than $10,000 last year, or this year 2011, I'm not doing too awful bad. It's just a matter of hitting your budget low and making do with what you got. This front eagle belongs to my girlfriend, whereas the back one is my personal little girl. This is my bug out vehicle here, this and the motorhome. Together I can go just about anywhere in the country and not have to worry too much about what am I going to do to live. But even that's not all that big a deal. 
as I've got several tents that I got free or for very little at yard sales and I just recently picked up a free frame for a large 12 by 12 awning something that's larger than this trailer which I can cover over with a regular tarp or I have a friend of mine who's a, an upholsterer sold me a proper camp tent type tarp over it anyway as I said it's no biggie and for those of you who think you have to have guns for being a prepper that's not necessarily true having access to guns is the best if you don't have one right now everybody can make one as I showed you earlier it's just a matter of loading the one important thing that you can never have taken from you and that is your mind with it you can do anything without it you might as well give it up anyway most people run around all their lives without loading the most important weapon of their mind you preppers are the ones that are actually loading it anyway I thought I'd just let you have an idea of what's going on that you can do for little or nothing and so as you think that I don't have any way to protect my resources please be aware that I operate under the firm belief of what they call scorched earth if somebody ever breaks in and tries to take what little food and supplies I've supplied myself for I've already rigged it so that one strike of a match or one push of a button and the whole thing goes up in flames they're not going to steal from me all they're going to get for their trouble is a lot of wasted rounds of ammunition and a lot of frustration anyway we'll catch you a little later the rest of you take care and thank you again for all those wonderful videos out there this is Yag Tiger 2 catch you later